Alright guys, before the video begins, I just want to say, if you didn't know, this is a brand new channel. So the chances are you're not subscribed. So make sure to click that subscribe button. And in the words of my grandpa, Right, <laughs> bitch! Cock a doodle do. Three days later, you might be too small to play here, bro. You might want to go over there with the little boys. Hey, what's wrong, man? I'm too short to play basketball. I'm under six feet tall. I'm short too, that don't stop me. But you're not that good to begin with. Uh, uh anyways, if you want to get taller, I know it, dude. What the f are you wear? Right there. Yo, these will make you taller, but listen, I warn you, they're gonna cost you, and basketball is about passion. The height. These will make me tall. That's it. How come you never offered me those shoes? I never liked your Christmas gift. And I don't like you. Alright, bro. Good game, right? No, no, no. Yup. Damn. You the big man. What about him? Him? Yeah. I mean, I played with him before. He's not really a big man. You get him if you want to, though, bro. All right, all right, yo.
ましょう It's my time to shine. Check up, little. Where do you guys keep coming from? Y'all are so weird. Can't play here anymore, man. So I wasn't going to do a review on this shoot. I was just going to do a skit, some action scenes, and call it a day. And the plan was to play well in these shoes in all facets of the game, especially as a big man in the post. Hooks like Kareem, Hakeem the Dream, Dream Shakes. And as a modern day big man, Splash Threes. All for a fire highlight film and height increasing shoes to show you guys that you can wear height increasing shoes for basketball to make you taller and perform at a high level too. At least that was the case until I actually put them on and played in them. I, I gotta be honest, man. These were the hardest shoes to ever play basketball in, ever. So I'ma review them for you guys. Make sure to subscribe, press the bell next to it so you get a notification every time I drop a new video and follow me on my other social media pages, just like that. Let's get into the video. Starting off with the looks and the initial thoughts of the height increasing shoes. Now these shoes are from Tall Man Shoes, basically a site that specializes in lift shoes for men. And everybody always says, man, if I was six feet tall, seven feet tall, eight feet tall, I would be in the league. And you've tried everything to grow. Sh tried stretching your arms and legs in opposite directions. Tried drinking as much milk as possible. St steroids? I don't, I don't know. Not me personally, because look, look, I'm, I'm small. Me being five foot ten, I missed the six foot mark just by a little bit. And honestly, it kind of sucks. If you're under six feet, this is how females look at you. Anyways, these are called the Toto Shoes. They lift you up 3.6 inches taller, but really will round it to four inches. It says on the description, on the website get the height that you want unobtrusively I'm gonna be honest I, I don't even know what that means and it also says on the site that these aren't meant for basketball me being me and confident I was like Poof. Please, I can play in these. I was dead wrong. Now it looks like basketball shoes, feels like basketball shoes. It's got the synthetic upper. It's even got an air bubble in there too. The rubber midsole and rubber outsole were very heavy duty like a boot. And they were just that. They were heavy as shit. And they're kind of ugly. They kind of look like the 2K generic shoes. It's really difficult putting these shoes on. And when you do, you don't really notice how much taller you get until you stand next to someone and you're there looking up at you and you're looking down at them. Basically, these shoes did their job to add height, but how did they do performing and playing in them? I'm about to get into it. The looks in the initial thoughts rating of the height increasing shoes is 6.5 out of 10. Ugly, but it does do the job and it adds height to you. Moving on to the size and the comfort. These are not comfy at all. Like I said earlier, it has an air bubble, but you're elevated and you can't feel any cushioning. Basically, you're playing in heels. They're heavy as sh Listed at 18 ounces on the website. Definitely fit small. Like I said, it's hard to put your foot in the shoe. This was a major calf workout. Kind of like what I said in a prior video. This is like playing in weighted clothing. You know, like in anime when they have weighted clothing and they take it off and they drop it and it makes a huge explosion. <laughs> Come on, you really think you'll be able to get through Gara's defenses just by dropping a couple of pounds of weight? And then the classic, uh, 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 he's so powerful. I like that. Also, walking in it is real rough. I could definitely feel the blisters coming onto my feet. And if you've been keeping up on my channel, you know what I love about basketball shoes. I love the court feel. I love bounce. I love ability to react. Because these are so heavy and basically you're playing on your tippy toes and traction is... We'll get to that later. You can't react or explode in this shoe, let alone jump. Now I can see why some big men are stiffs. It's hard running around in these shit. I'm sad to say, I'm a sorry big man. Size and comfort rating, a solid zero out of 10. That hurt. Moving on to the traction of the shoe. So the traction pattern is like boots, but they were hella slippery. And here's what happened when I tested the traction. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, that one was the worst one. Yo, get this. Skid marks. Skid life. Traction rating, 
one out of 10. Bad traction next to no balance means you look slow and sorry AF. Moving on to the materials of the shoe, synthetic upper mesh in the toe box and tongue. A useless air bubble that's pretty squishy like the meat at the markets. On the site, and I quote, it's elegantly stitched for extra durability and style, but it's ugly. So uh, there's that. The built-in inner sole provides elevation when you're walking in it while allowing adequate room for your foot. And that's what it says on the website, but it does fit pretty small in there, but you know, it does elevate your foot. Again, the rubber outsole that's very slippery. On the site, it keeps preaching high quality, but it just wasn't the case for me. To be fair, it does say not meant for sports, but shoot. It looks like a basketball shoe. It says basketball style. It's got the air bubble. I'm a type of basketball. And also, if it can't last playing sports on a ball, is it really that good quality? Plus, the bottom was scraping and the paint came off. And the side got paint doo-doo skid marks on it too, on this shoe and on this shoe as well. Materials rating of this shoe, 3 out of 10. I took into consideration that it's really not for ball, but still, man, the quality's just not really there. Moving on to the support and lockdown. Basically, you're playing in high heels. And the upper right here is to support you. It's like the blackout drunk girl at the club and her friends try to help her up to no avail. It's the same for these shoes. As you can see here, you could easily snap your ankles in these shoes, which is why, you know, I wasn't trying to break my ankles. And, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, going hard. You know, I could have, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> 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 Support and lockdown rating, two out of 10. Moving on to the price, it's listed at $98, but on the site, it's listed at 50% off at $49. Is it worth it? Def not for basketball, but you know, if you're on the shorter side and you know, you wanna look taller in the club, especially since it's dark and nobody can see your feet, they can't see these ugly shoes on you, it might be worth it. Price rating, seven out of 10. Just because I've never seen shoes like these before and it's pretty cool that they do have elevating shoes for people who are short and they wanna be taller or even tall people who want to be even more taller. Overall, on the site, it says that it's stylish and comfy, where quality meets comfort. My reaction to that is... Now, don't get me wrong, these definitely do the job and make you taller, but being taller doesn't mean you're a better basketball player. In fact, a lot of shorter basketball players are more skilled than taller basketball players because they have to compensate for the fact that they're shorter. And wearing these definitely doesn't make you a better player because I kept stumbling around getting blocks. <laughs> And you, you know that don't happen in real life. <laughs> you know, give me a pair of Kyrie's, that don't happen. <laughs> <laughs> the overall rating of the height adjusting shoes for basketball purposes only 3.2 out of 10. Like I said, man, if you're self conscious about your height, maybe try these out. Definitely not for basketball. These are definitely a safety hazard. But to be honest, own the fact that you're short, be proud of who you are, make your perceived weakness into your strength. Damn, that was deep. Be confident in however tall you are. Because now you know why some big men are absolute stiffs. They're not really that tall. They just have these height increasing shoes that make them taller which is why they move around so slow and they're stiffs. I thought about that. Quickly before the video ends, I want to give a quick shout out to everyone who bought merchandise. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart for supporting the channel. If you purchased merch, definitely send a picture and I will post you on Instagram and YouTube. A few people have already done so, so here are my shout outs. Here's at Tony underscore Reyes underscore 30 on IG. Looking like he about to drop 50 in jeans. Kind of looks like a young Carlos Arroyo. Here's Bat2 2K on Twitter. Shout out to him. He got his hoodie. He didn't send a pic of him in the hoodie, but that's all good. He got the hoodie. Here's at Wuhan Win on Instagram. Classic mirror pick. Save some ladies for the rest of us, champ. Here's Benson on Instagram, eating hot pot. The answer to your poll is obviously the hoodie, bro. I've never seen anything spicier, to be honest. Here's at Malcolm092693. That's a lot of numbers. He's about to go Super Saiyan Blue in that Swiss shirt. Shout out to him. He also won the giveaway a while back. So here's him with the shoes that he won as well with the LeBron's looking good. Thanks for the continued support, bro. Yeah, man, that concludes the video. Thanks everybody for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch my other videos up there and down there in the playlist. Let me know what you think of the height increasing shoes. Do you buy them to play basketball in or would you just buy them to look taller for the, you know, for, for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, we out. Peace.